اي واحد عنده مشاكل في مفصل الكتف وكثير عندنا وكلكم عندكم مشاكل وتحدث حركي وهذا بيسبب لالام في العضلات او في المفصل نفسه او خشونه في المفصل او ضغط على العضلات وبصير في عندنا كل حركي في مو... في مفصل الكتف بحيث ما بنقدر نرفع مثلا في بعض الناس اكثر من هيك لانه في الام حاده الحركه الرئيسيه لمفصل الكتف لازم تكون بشكل مستقيم للاعلى ومن ناحيه للجنب ونكون بالطريقه هذه هلا كيف انا بدي ازيد الحركه يعني هاي في عندي عصايتين انا ما بدي اضطر استخدم العصايتين معكم خلينا نستخدم عصاي ونشوف اذا نفعت نفعت ما نفعت في هاي الحاله بنستخدم عصايتين الغرض من التمارين هذا انه نعمل عمليه زياده في حركه الكتف شوي شوي لورا وبالطريقه هذه حفرجيكم هذه التمارين مره مرتين وانتم بتعملوها 10 15 مره هلا في عندي مشكله في الكتف هذا ففي هاي الحاله بستخدم الحركه هذه وبرفع برفع برفع ايدي بترفع هذه وايد بتشد ارفع بالطريقه هذه والجهة الثانية نرفع بالطريقة هاي وهيك لفوق وننزل شوي شوي ونرد نرفع ونرد ننزل ونرد نرفع ونرد ننزل لكن بعدين حطوا ايديكم فوق بالطريقة هاي وبنبلش شوي شوي على الشمال وعلى اليمين ونفعت لورا شوي شوي ونكرر الحركات هذه جهة يمين وجهة شمال بعدين بنحط ايدينا بالطريقة هذه و... Hello everyone my, my name is Lennox and I'm here today to teach you some exercises for any kind of condition, especially no very bad condition, you know, just mild, moderate condition about pain on the shoulder, okay? That you can do at home and avoid, you know, worse things like a frozen shoulder, like a capsulitis, you know, things that may be cause too much, too much pain. So as soon as you start feeling pain, just start doing the exercises, or if you are in the treatment, just do it as well because it's gonna help you. Okay, so suppose this is my shoulder that is affected. So remember, we are gonna start to warming, you know, the tissue very well. So we are gonna move the shoulder, moving around. While you are moving, you can do as well self-massage. You can use hot towels, but I always recommend do everything with your hand because when you are doing with your hand, you can find points that then you can work. So just massage, just warm the tissue. If you feel that here, you feel a little maybe pain doing this, you can, you know, bend your body just a little bit and lift just your shoulder, you know, just move in this position. It's little easy and it's less painful. So just move everywhere, everywhere, because we need to warm the tissue. Very good. That's good. After you moving here as well, back, front, that's good. So we are gonna start, okay? So if you feel a lot of, you know, pain or discomfort in this area, so go direct for a stretching is no good. So we need to first work in the tissue and then we are gonna work the stretches. So first of all, you can get here, this part of the, the pectoralis, and we are gonna just stretch this area. So I'm gonna stretch in this way where I move my shoulder a little bit back. I'm not moving too much the arm because sometimes for some people just do this is cause of pain. So leave it here the shoulder, move the tissue in this direction and move the shoulder up. Depends how do you feel. So I'm gonna try to push here the wall. Elbow have to be bending 90 degrees. 10 seconds and relax. 
I can do at the same time. I'm working when I'm working here, I'm working all the muscles that are in this area. Now I'm gonna place my arm here and I'm gonna work all the muscles that is in this side. So I'm gonna try to push the wall here. So I just place here my body. Arm has to be close to the trunk and I try to push here the wall. Same, six, 10, 20 seconds. If you can stay 30 seconds, much better. And again here. So you can do here five repetitions, six repetitions for each exercise, like that. Okay, that's good. As well, you can use, look at here, your own hand if you don't want to use the wall. So very easy, you are gonna place your arm here and you are gonna resist and you are gonna try to do this movement, like here. So I'm gonna resist here. It's the same one that we did on that uh, on the wall. And I'm gonna resist here as well. So I try to push my arm and resist here. So it depends the exercise, what exercise that you like it and you feel comfortable, like that, okay? So one, when you do these exercises, as soon as we finish, we are gonna try to stretch the muscles that we work here because are warm, they are warm in this moment and they are a little bit more, you know, released to stretch. So how we're gonna stretch this muscle? So you can use the wall like that. If you are just starting the, the stretching and you don't want something hard and you just standing here, you don't have to push so hard, heal yourself, just like that. Stay here, 30, 60 seconds, repeat three times, each or shoulder, and relax. As well, move here, you can do here the wall. You can place here the arm, and you just gonna bend a little bit here. More easy, one leg, with this thing, you can use exercise as well like that. You get here, and this arm is gonna help this one to move up. Here, 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 like that. That's good, and now, down. Here, you can move like that. And it's good because the other arm is assist everything, so it's gonna be less painful. Then just step backwards. Just make sure you are not bending your elbow so your straight arm you're trying to go up and then going close to the wall and then hold it here and then come back this is the flexion one the other one what you will do is you will face sideways and then you will do the same thing you can see, just climb the wall. Don't bend your elbow, just climb it. And then go closer if you think you are not able to reach it. And hold. And then come back. In the next one, what you'll do is you can lean forward a little and then you'll do just rotation. rotation of your joint. You can move your arm freely in both directions, clockwise and the clockwise. You can do it with both arms. In the next one, you will take one towel, you will grab both ends, you will go backwards, one end you will hold it from here, second end from the bottom and what you will do is, first you will extend this arm and flex the other one, hold it there and then come back by stretching out the other one hold it there again in the 
next one what you'll do is you'll take your arm up like this that one was this this is going up So these were some simple exercises for your shoulder joint. I hope it will help you. Bye. So we have got some of the exercises for neck and shoulders. So let's start with the stretching exercises right now for, for your neck muscles. The first one exercise is your neck extensions. For this you can use your hand to push your neck as well. Second one is neck flexion. You can use your hands to flex your neck or you can just remove your hands and go down and try to touch your chin to the neck, to the chest and come back, relax. Then for side flexion, you need to go opposite direction. I can feel the stretch here, if you can see, relax. Or you can use your hand as well, the opposite direction. I'm feeling right now a stretch in here. I can use my other hand to go back so that the stretch is like more. Now relax. Now I'm doing like some, some of the exercises which are like strengthening exercises for the neck, neck muscles. These are like isometric exercises. So you just need to put your one hand on your forehead and you need to like push your hand with your neck muscles so just do that for like 5-10 seconds hold it and relax you can again do it for like 5-10 minutes you can do it for 5-10 to 10 repetitions how, how many you want to do it and for the neck flexion you can do the same as well just put your hands on the neck on the side of the head and try to push it hold it for like 10 seconds and relax the other side. Relax. Then uh, I'm going to do some exercises for the shoulder. This is shoulder flexion. like with resistance keep repeating it for like 10 to 15 reps and then relax then there is one shoulder extension which is like taking your hand on, on the opposite side of the body you can use the other hand to push it further if you want and then come back relax 